Welcome everybody. We are live here and we're both back we're in the both studio. Here. Finally. All is right again. It's been an off couple of weeks for the show. Um, it's Waterbox Wednesday. It's such an exciting show today. Everyone has been waiting, waiting, waiting and yes, counting we have been down the days hard. to this. We have been working hard to get to this day and I know lots of people have been waiting for this as yes. well. We get calls about it every day. Yep, yep, so. and posts and questions and calls, and you know, we're finally excited that it's here. Um, yeah. I think everyone's gonna be really, really happy. Yeah, so you guys, we've redesigned the Marine line, which is now called the Marine X. We're super excited to show you guys what we've done. Um, we're gonna jump into the intro real quick. We'll be right back. <laughs> All right. Yes. Intro done. Um, like, yeah. share. Yes. Oh my goodness. I'm, I don't. I'm, I can never get it right, so I'm, I'm just I'm gonna cue off, you I'm in on it. I'm throwing off my game. I have two <laughs> two weird weeks. Um, like, share, subscribe, you guys. If you're on YouTube, hit that notifications because we are here every single week, Wednesdays at 6 p.m. Eastern. Rain or shine. Even if I have to do it myself, or if Jess has to do it herself, we're here. We always here for you guys. Yes, <laughs> um, we always have something fun, exciting going on, and a new product launch is probably one of the most exciting things that we could do. Yeah. So um, I guess we should go. I should, yeah. Should we just yeah. Get yeah. Going so you guys, it. we're we put together a uh, a little two minute video overview here of the new Marine X. We're super excited to show this to you. Um, again, this is a re launch of the original Marine series now called the Marine X. So we're going to drop that video for it. We'll see you in about two minutes. I'd like to give you an overview of the Marine X from Waterbox Aquariums. The Marine X is designed for beginner to advanced freshwater and saltwater aquarium hobbyists. Each aquarium is handcrafted using only the finest low iron ultra clear starfire glass, which allows for unparalleled clarity. The edges are diamond beveled and assembled by our technicians using high strength Wacker silicone. The Marine X is available in four sizes, the 35.1, the 60.2, the 90.3, and the 110.4. A unique feature of the Marine X is the glass overflow box with detachable weir teeth. This allows for easy cleaning and maintenance. Dual return nozzles provide maximum turnover inside the aquarium. The plumbing kit requires no gluing or extra parts, so it can be installed in minutes. To ensure quiet operation, a precision gate valve is included on the main drain. This allows for accurate adjustments of the water level inside the overflow box. All water boxes include a pre-glued self-leveling mat. This helps to minimize the effects of uneven surfaces or pressure points. Each Marine X includes cabinetry made of extremely water-resistant and durable laminated plywood. All hinges are soft closed and coated with silicone to minimize oxidation. Inside the cabinetry is the glass sump filtration system that is designed for marine and reef aquariums. It includes filter socks, evaporation reservoir, and ample space for reactors, skimmer, and return pump. For more information on the Marine X line of aquariums, visit waterboxaquariums.com. Woo! Yes. It is official. It is official, you guys. We have been working really hard over the last, I don't even know how many months, probably three or four, Keenan. Um, yeah. <laughs> to get this ready for you guys. It's it's a fantastic line. I wanna jump into a little bit of a backstory here. So for those of you who have been following Waterbox for a while, we've had the Marine line for a number of years now. Earlier this year, we dropped the Marine line. Yes. People weren't too happy about that. No. But we did have something up our sleeve. We were working on a redesign um, of the entire line. So what we did is we took the Marine line and we made some pretty vast improvements to it in regards to aesthetics, um, the size, the cabinetry, so on and so forth. 
So what you saw there is the new marine line. We got 18 inch, 24, 36, and now a 48 inch, a four foot marine. Yes. So it's um, like uh, there was a lot of you know things that people kind of had asked for with the marine line is they wanted bigger. You yeah. know they wanted some of these uh, different features. And, you know, so we, it's been working for us. And when something like this has to go into action and yeah. plan, it's like they're like the Marine left and they're like, what's going on? I was like, but it's such a long process from <laughs> the thought of what we're yeah. doing to the process and bringing it on and then yeah. launching and stuff like that. So, like, there was that mm -hmm. downtime. Everyone was like, where's the Marine? Where's the Marine? But it's finally here. Yeah. You know, we've taken all those suggestions that people have made and really fine-tuned it. And that four-foot model, people have been begging for. We just released yeah. the information on our four-foot all-in-one. Yep. Um, and now, and we now we've got the four foot X. Marine X. <laughs> and, you know, that's what everyone has been asking for is bigger, more features, and stuff like that. Yeah. So, so we're, we're super excited about this, you guys. It's, it's a, there's some beautiful improvements that we've done to it. I also want to mention so, right now, as we speak, the details on this product are going live on our website um, for the USA. But I also want to mention Marine X is also en route to Europe, the right. United Kingdom as well as our new warehouse in Canada. What? So I saw somebody that actually mentioned, are you going to have a distributor in Canada? Well, yes, we are. It's us. So oh. we actually just secured a warehouse in Toronto, and we will be shipping containers there here any day. Good stuff. So that's going to, yeah, yeah Canada has been asking. We've been kind of shipping direct through the U.S. from there, but this is going to simplify it a lot for everyone mm -hmm. there. Um, and bringing all the people that want water box, finally a water box in Canada. Yeah. So, that's so super I do want to mention, um, that the, for the first little while, it's going to be only our saltwater range. So, um, but that will be coming here pretty soon. So, that's exciting. Yeah. So lots of good stuff. Um, yeah. And we of course had to set up the four foot Marine X here um, in the studio, get that up and running. So on mm -hmm. launch, we could show it running in action. Yeah. Um, you know, we put together oh. this nice. And I gotta say, it looks pretty good. Yeah. Looks pretty good. Just did the aquascaping as usual. And getting this tank set up and man it looks great we got the AI uh, prime 16 HDs over it which will be the plus um, edition available yeah on the so site. the plus edition which you can pick up now I'm a Keenan is it live it's live um, it says out of stock but we're fixing that right now okay um, so yeah it's going live but you got to stick around and watch this because we're gonna run you through all the details here in just a minute um, but again this is a great looking system. So what's really cool about the system, I'm gonna head over there as soon as Keenan's ready. Um, yep. And to, definitely drop your questions or anything. I'm gonna be watching the yeah. questions. We'll do some Q&A um, as we go through. Show this one up and running. Um, and just give you that, and that's what's so nice about this is you actually physically can see it. You can you know see what we've done with it, the mm -hmm. size of the stump, actually physically running. It was a really nice option before yeah. you even, you know. Yeah, we're gonna get up in there too as soon as Keenan as soon as the site gets live here in a minute, um, we're going to show you up close all the details and feature changes that we did. We're good. We're all good? Right. All right. It's so, live. guys, the site is live, but stick around because we're going to show you this thing in detail. Um, the, the tank that we have here in the studio is the Marine X 110.4, where the four fits a new model for the Marine line. Yes, it so. is. And it's going to be very, very popular. Um, and I'll say, like, when escaping this, it's really nice because I actually use, like, a big carob seat arch rock mm -hmm. and it works perfect in the middle and then some of the pieces around the end um, I like how it kind of turned out but there's a lot of space in this you know yeah. it, it's really nice now because the old version of the marine had the full across overflow actually Keenan before we jump in over there can you hop on the website yeah. okay so guys I want to show you just real quick I want to give you a rundown as what you're gonna see so you don't even you don't even have to go over to the website yourself we're gonna show it to you real quick um, the marine X line so what's really cool about this product line is that what we, we're calling it is there's, there's more to love but less to spend. So you can get yes. into a reef tank from 35 gallons up to 110 for under $2,000. So the Marine X 35.1 is now starting at 800 bucks. That's amazing. That's ridiculous. Uh, 60.2, you're looking at 999. That is insanity. Um, 90.3 used to be the 70.3 with the new improvements. It's now 90.3. You're looking at 14.99 and a four-foot reef tank at 19.49. That's going to give you the Starfire glass tank, the cabinetry, the sump, the plumbing, integrated ATO reservoir. It's really it's a, it's a nice way to kind of a little more economically get into a really nice setup. Still mm -hmm. getting you know that that size that you want up to that four foot. 
um, and you know yeah. the bigger the big sump and overflow boxes now smaller. So it's yeah. like all those nice features, but a little more economical. You know, yeah. gets you all the things that you want. You have all of those things that you that people like about Waterbox, but it's just the price points a little bit more attractive. One of the really cool things, Jess, that I like is. The, you have the cabinetry, the finishes are in white, black, and oak on this line. Yes, that's something that's been yeah. asked for a lot. And um, just having something besides just a standard white and black available for if you want to do a reef or fresh water mm -hmm. in this, which you can do salt, fresh, anything. Um, and it does include the sump, so really any option yeah. you want. I also want to note real quick, guys, that again, this is coming to Europe and UK very soon, as well as Canada. Um, and just today, so you can see there, we do offer financing there on the US website. Finance, and is that actually coming to Europe, UK, and uh, Canada within the next week? Oh my God. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> I just want to mention that. So, can you can scroll down. We'll take a look at some of the details. So, here you go. You got a little bit of a breakdown in regards to what comes with it. Um, there you have the sizes. If you want to see the technical specifications, you want to get the nitty gritty right, <laughs> right there, there, that blue button. <laughs> Go <laughs> that blue to button it. button right there. I'm gonna, this is a dedication to Chris. Um, <laughs> the blue button is where you find the technical specifications. Uh, you, also there you can see the overview video. Um, so as we scroll down, a little video showing the, the uh, removable weir teeth, which is a new feature. On this the is system. something that set, sets it apart from our other lines, yes. which we've stuck with for a very long time, mm -hmm. is the full glass overflow with the jetted weir teeth. So this one does have the removable plate yeah. on the front. Yep. Uh, still, you got your dual return you know, nozzles, all of that. But it is one big key thing that is different with this line. Yeah, so like Jess just said, a key differentiator between the Marine X and the previous Marine, with the exception of the 35.1, is we now have a standard overflow box with dual returns opposed yeah. to what we used to have was a coast to coast as we call it or mm -hmm. like a side to side. And the socks were back in there. Yep, the socks are now down in the sump again with larger. the exception of the 35.1. Right. Um, there's a lot of improvements here to give you more of a standard style reef tank. Yes. So and they're just beautiful. Look at it. They are. Um, and you'll notice like these lines are a little bit um, more, a little bit more narrow than mm -hmm. like the reef line. Because a lot of people are asking, well, what's the difference between these and the reef? You know, especially yeah. for like the three and four foot, um, a lot of it's going to be width. Yeah. So that, again, if you're looking into, if you're like, well, do I buy a, a, a Marine Axe or do I go with the reef series? There's some key indicators that you want to understand before you make that decision is A, what size tank are you looking for? Mm -hmm. Do you, the, the Marine Axe goes from 35 gallons up to 100 gallons. The right. reef starts at 70 and goes into the Reef Pro of 220. Yeah. So there's some pretty big differences there, but primarily it's the depth, um, the cabinet finishes, uh, the sump layout. Yeah, just small differences there mm -hmm. um, that allow us to have, you know, that fully feel that reef system yeah. with, you know, a little bit better price point, yeah. um, you know, and that's kind of like where it kind of came from is, you know, Yeah. Keep it very cheers to you all. This is an exciting day, it I gotta is. say. Cheers. So, cheers. cheers. Virtual cheers or whatever you want to call it. I think Rich is gonna go over to the Marine, yeah. give you kind of a throw through. I'm gonna look through um, comments and questions and you know, this way you get to see it up close. Yeah, so and if you guys remember last week I was pointing to my left, I said, Oh, there's a tank over here that you guys can't see. This has been hiding off in the corner now. Oh for a no, while. you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I told him I was like over there, there's something new going on. So again, you guys, I just want to show you the details here. As always, we use all Starfire Ultra Clear Low Iron Glass. That gives you a really nice viewing panels so you don't see any green hue within the glass. Um, so again, 15 millimeter diamond beveled Starfire glass. Really beautiful. Now, real quick, since we're already up here, one of the things I want to point out is previously in our marine, the overflow used to run all the way across. Um, and the filter socks were in the chambers in the side. On our two, three, and four foot, we got rid of that. We have a standard overflow box with the nice, you know, water box glass, you know, smoked glass overflow cover here. So that's really cool. I'm gonna put that over here real quick. Okay. Um, dual returns, real important in a reef tank, you guys. Real important. Now, as you can see, we have the glass overflow box, but what's unique to this system is we wanted to make the maintenance pretty easy. So what we did is we actually put in a removable, this is gonna get loud for a second, Keenan. <laughs> um, 
we put in a removable uh, weir teeth here. So you can actually take this off, put it in vinegar, clean it up, scrape your glass, and then you got that rich style, you know, ultra clean back panel. <laughs> so as you can see, and if this ever needs to be replaced, it's really easy to do. So that's a cool, cool feature. Um, if you ever need to get in there and do some maintenance or you want to clean it up, love that. Everyone is loving the Marine Axis. Everyone is very, very happy with it. And they are loving the non coast to coast overflow. So, yeah, it seems I love to be that something feature. that people are really, really happy with from all the comments. That's, I love it. So, again, you guys, we're so excited to share this to you. And we're also so excited that you're here with us because this is awesome. Um, cabinet. So, again, these are our laminated plywood cabinets. So, finishes come in white, black, and oak. They're really beautiful. They look stunning. They go together nicely. We have uh, obviously the same hinges we use on all our system, PVC coated, stainless steel. Soft clothes. Oh yeah, soft clothes. So you don't want to scare the fish. I love that feature. <laughs> yeah. So they're real easy to close. You just pop it in. You want to open the doors, you pop it out. So. The sump is very wide open. Like. Yeah, so again, if you guys remember, the, on the original marine line, the socks used to be up top. Well, now they're down in the sump. They're four inch. We got sock silencers with it. Look at the size of the sump. You could fit just about any skimmer you want in there. On the right side, there you have the ATO chamber. This is the ATO chamber here, return pump chamber. And then, Keenan, if you can get under there, we can see the, <laughs> the, uh, the plumbing kit there. So, again, you can see this plumbing kit comes straight down into the sump. It's so crazy easy to put together. It'll take you just a couple minutes. And we also upgraded to our precision gate valve that we use on our reef series as well. So awesome, beautiful glass sump, tons of space. We're running the Vectra, or not the Vectra, the uh, Nios Viper pump on this particular system. We got the heater in there, but no skimmer in there right now. Yeah, and we're gonna keep it kind of just simple so we could show off the size of everything, but you can see in that middle chamber, I mean, there is room for protein skimmer, reactor, mm -hmm. heaters. I mean, pretty much everything. You got a nice size ATO compartment, so you know your top off's taken care of. Um, you know, there's there's so much room. It's a very nice open design for the sump, which mm -hmm. I think is is greatly improved as well. Um, and it's definitely nice on this size tank, especially the four foot, to have those four inch filter socks down yeah, there. Yeah, and moving them down to the bottom, I really like. You know, I I really liked it in the, the <clears> them being up top before. I thought it was really cool, but when we gained the space from moving the overflow a little bit. I I just, you know, I think I like that a little bit better. But that's the uh, the Marine X. It's, I don't even know what to say, Jess. Uh, we did good. I've been, in, did I've, good. Been, I've been totally engrossed in this tank for months now. Yeah. <laughs> and now that we're finally releasing it. I will say, you know, you know, we designed it and came up with the changes and all that stuff, but when it finally got here and we got to put it together, it was once again kind of just like awestruck again by Waterbox. Like, <laughs> you know, it never fails to amaze me of how beautiful they are and how clear. And yeah. just having a new model or a new size and seeing the possibilities with this, like I was really excited to work on the rock and everything inside yeah. of it with the, with the size that it has. Um, yeah. Went to dark mode. There we go. Sorry. Um, <laughs> <laughs> So, like Jess is saying, you know, you, you see a, there's a very common style with the water box aquariums. We're not trying to make things overly complex. Our goal is to make reef keeping pretty easy and digestible. So this, this system is not overly complex. It's everything you need to be successful when keeping a saltwater aquarium. Yeah, because and that's really the basics. It is. It. We want everyone to be able to get into it. So we've yeah. got, you know, everything from the small nano type mm -hmm. system up to you know something like the marine where you can have the sump and have the full equipment very yeah. manageable sizes still all those key features um but you know very very affordable um yeah. you're still getting all the amazing things that Waterbox has to yeah, offer yeah that's what the, the glass and the yeah. you know how just beautiful everything is and it's well designed so um definitely see this being very popular and um you know these will be shipping very soon for those that are ordering so they we're gonna are. have people in our user group showing their new marine x in no time yeah this um, month they'll actually i think they're like towards the end of this month toward the end of this month so you can actually pre-order them now they're on the water they're going to be at our warehouse here in jacksonville here pretty soon so mm -hmm. um if you want to secure one i suggest doing it um again you can 
also contact your local retailer um, as well. Yeah, they're coming on pre-order and stuff. Um, so, you know, our, we have a Facebook user group. If you're not in it, um, Waterbox Aquarium's official group. And you're going to start seeing some Waterbox Marine X's going out there and people starting to set them up, which will be really fun to see when a new new model gets yeah, set up. Yeah, I always up. love it. We <laughs> just saw it recently with the Peninsula Mini. There's so many people in the mm -hmm. user group setting up their Peninsula Minis. And they're all over Instagram. And yeah. last week we showed around the office with all the different tanks, yeah. which were some of the P Minis and cubes and stuff like that. Um, and we do have a couple of questions. Um, here we can cry the grab. And yeah. one of them says, do they have adjustable feet? Yes, like all of our cabinets, they mm -hmm. do have adjustable leveling feet. So all of our cabinets include that feature and this one is no different yeah. for sure. Yeah, and Keenan, if you got any questions over there, we'll take them. We're gonna try to jump through some over here as well. Okay. And then this one. DB see. says, can you, uh, with the plus edition, can you upgrade the, to the uh, 32 HD? So yes, you can. What I suggest doing there is buying them all a cart. So buy the aquarium, head over to our supplies section and buy the AI uh, Hydra there. You need, for this particular four foot, you would need two. Yeah. Um, probably two on the three foot, one on the two foot, and then the 35.1, you'd probably need one. Yep. Um, if you're not in the US, we do have plus editions in Europe and UK. Mm -hmm. Actually, we will have them in Canada as well. And then also now on the website is Radions. Yes. So if you want to do yours, like we just did with our frag build that had Radions on it, you can of course do yeah. some XR15s on here. Um, it really depends on the kind of coral you want to keep. Yeah. Like we're doing like a mixed, um, you know, softy LPS in here. The primes have really good coverage. They um, really do. It looks really, really nice, but it's not overbearing. We're not trying to do SPS corals or anything really light demanding. Mm -hmm. um, you know, so everything's been really happy and open in here. And you could definitely take yourself to Hydra 32s or up to some XR 15s yeah. if you wanted to. Um, and you can get all those on the website too. Yeah, so the base model plus edition for the Marine X is the, the Prime 16 HDs. And you can always, again, we can buy the tank and go pick up whatever, whatever lighting you want to put on there. Um, and that, from us, that's the aqua illumination and Ecotech marine lighting. They're the best. They are. They're so. I mean, look at that. Stunning. I have to say, everyone is very, very happy. Um, I feel like we're going to have a lot of new water box people in the family soon. Um, so Lots one of person, people saying to take their money. That's yeah. what I see a lot of. Um, a couple of people have asked on the 90.3, is there a divider part of the cabinet as well, like the four foot that we show? Uh, on the this four foot the three foot ones uh, no not on the three foot so it's very similar to our reef series where there's a the reason there's a divider on the four foot is because we need an additional support panel in there mm -hmm. which we don't need on the three foot so on the three foot there's going to be extra space there aside is. from the sump but there's not mm -hmm. going to be a dividing panel um, but you could still use it for electronics or storage on that side. yeah absolutely yeah yep. so um, that's what I'm asking if we're doing any wave pumps on here. Not at the moment. Um, Relatively have, temporary setup here for you guys to kind of demonstrate it. Yeah. Um, but you but, could absolutely use like some Nero's. Yeah, or, I would I would put some Nero's on here, a couple of Nero 5's, mm -hmm. um, if this was staying up more long term. Um, but it's in our studio, so it can't stay here. Yeah. Um, <laughs> this is our our stage left, or Keenan <laughs> stage right. So, yeah. Uh, it's... It's there for this video, and uh, it might be there a little bit longer. Maybe a little bit, or get moved somewhere or whatever. But um, yeah, we didn't put it in there. But we would, if it was a long-term setup, definitely putting some Neuros or Flow in mm -hmm. there. Um, we'd have a skimmer and reactor and an ATO and all that stuff set up um, in the sump. But we yeah. wanted to really showcase just the tank. You can see what this, how it looks, and the features and stuff like that for the launch. But we'll see what happens with this one. I don't, I don't know what we're doing yet. We all really like it, so yeah, it's really nice. Um, we're still debating on if it just gets moved or if it gets changed or maybe you see a future smart build. Device. <laughs> the smart device is trying to take over our screens as always. I saw it pop up in my <laughs> um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I'm missing on this this here in Marine X. Again, you guys, available to order now um, here in the USA. By tomorrow, uh, we'll have it live on Waterbox Aquariums EU.com, which is mm -hmm. a European store, mm -hmm. as well as waterboxaquariums.co.uk. And it'll soon be available to also local retailers around Europe, uh, specifically the Netherlands, France, Germany, Belgium, Luxembourg, uh, the United Kingdom. We also have dealers in Norway, Finland, Sweden, Switzerland. My goodness, how do you remember all that? I stare I at it all day long. I know. Uh, <laughs> not, to, not to forget, not to forget, that, that reminds me as I'm rattling off those countries, 
These are also coming to Dubai. So the United Arab Emirates will have them very soon. We'll also have them in Australia and New Zealand, which I announced last week. Yeah, whenever we say water box is going worldwide, we're not, we're not joking. Like, <laughs> no. it's definitely going out there. Um, I have a lot of people asking some more, like, technical stuff, like display gallons and some sizes and stuff. Check out the technical specs button on the page, on every mm -hmm. model page, that will tell you all the information, all the knowledges that you want to know about Get your knowledges or your tank. <laughs> um, technical specs are there for every model, so do go to that spot. Yeah, so. so you guys, we have a page, like she said, that lists technical specs for every model in detail. Every detail you that you need to know. Right. Um, and, and every product yeah. page has that button that takes you to that page. Yeah. Um, so it's like... I love how you're reiterating. I'm just, I'm just saying, um, we're here, you know, customer service has requested we, you know, let yeah. people know this. Um, and then also someone is asking, um, you know, do the lights come with it or are they separate? So if you're kind of new to Waterbox, you might not know Plus Editions. Mm -hmm. And those are for all of our models and where it is paired with the proper um, aqua illumination light, yep. which will be a, a prime or a hydro depending on the tank and the size. Yep. So you can get it with the lights as a plus bundle or without um, them on the website. So. Yeah, and if you're, if you're not keen or savvy and know about the aqua illumination lighting, it's very, very popular. They've been around a long time. They're actually one of the first prime time LED lights. Like so the they've pioneers been doing it for of over the LED a, world and the yeah, aquariums. Over for a sure. decade they've been doing this. They're wonderful lights. They're super easy to use and they can keep just about any coral under them. So yeah. definitely well worth it. We also recently started selling the Ecotech Marine products with uh, our tanks as well, which are available pretty much anywhere we sell direct to consumers and okay. uh, elsewhere. You just got to contact your local distributor. Awesome. So, yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Good. <laughs> no questions over there, Keenan? Uh, that's hard, man. I, mean, I know we have a lot of just like kind of random like display yeah, tank sizes guys, and stuff like that. Like that's all technical, spectacle, technical yeah, spec kind of stuff. Technical, Ask Jess. Um, yeah. 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 Okay. Cool. So check out technical specs. Anything beyond that can't be answered on the website, feel free to reach out to us. Um, you know, yeah. take a look at everything and... And also, if you have any uh, particular questions too, make sure you post them in the comments on YouTube after the stream, because our customer support will answer that as well. But without okay. further ado, we have Ask Jess. Oh. <laughs> we do. Let's do it. <laughs> So guys, every week uh, we, ha we have a segment here called Ask Jess, our local knowledge is expert. <laughs> I got the knowledge, I'm ready to share them with you. Put yeah, so she's brain. been doing this a long time. So we let you pick her brain by emailing askjess at waterboxaquariums.com. Um, again, if we don't answer your question here live, she will answer it. So that's great. Um, the first question here is from Troy. He says, hey Jess, is there a way to get the, the growth of coralline algae kickstarted? And then what is the difference between LPS and SPS? Do they mix? All right, so coralline algae is, you're gonna either need to introduce it with a piece of live rock that has some, a coral frag, something like that. There are some you know, additives that are coral al coralline algae accelerators. Um, be careful of those for water quality, for mm -hmm. like calcium and alkalinity and stuff. Um, best thing is it takes time and introduce a little bit through live rock or something that already has some on it. Um, it's not gonna happen fast at all. Yeah, it's um, a I mean, you're lucky, process. like you're like six months in, like ah, purple spot, and it's some coralline. Yeah. Um, so it's going to take a long time. It'll take a long time to cover. And then LPS and SPS. Um, so basically, what they stand for is large polyp stony, and then also small polyp stony. So basically, um, the fleshier coral, a little bit easier and less light demanding than something SPS, which is mm -hmm. full stony, which is going to be harder to maintain, take high light, perfect water quality, um, a lot of flow. They can mix. Um, to an extent, but SPS yeah. is extremely particular, water quality, flow, light, everything. So it's kind of hard to appease them and make everyone else happy too. Yeah. So on the map, sometimes you just keep it all SPS. Excellent. So next question is from Robert. He says, hi Jess, I'm curious about how you would go about setting up the water box for cichlids. Would you use the sump the same way you do it for salt water? There are some really beautiful peacock or discus available in the hobby and there's some fish farms in Florida. Any chance Waterbox would consider doing a tank? Thanks. Love the show, Robert. All right. So I answered this from Robert because I see him ask this a lot in the shows. 
And he really, want, he really wants us to do um, a cichlid tank. Mm -hmm. And the main thing is, is like, can all of our systems be used as fresh water and salt water? Absolutely. If you've seen it, we converted our six foot peninsula that was salt water to fresh water. Yeah. And we're running the sump. I think for bigger systems or dirtier fish like cichlids, because you do overpack them as far as like mm -hmm. how many go into the tank, a sump is better a lot of the times for that kind of fish because they're dirtier. You need that more flow. You need those socks to catch more a lot turnover. of dirt. Um, it's harder to do that with canisters or hang on the back filters. So I think a cichlid tank would be perfect in any of our sump systems. And I would love to do a full cichlid tank. I would. Yeah. Um, African cichlids and peacocks are like one of my favorite freshwater things. Yeah. It's just if we'll do a build with them, I don't know. But yeah. I do love them, and I feel you, Robert. Um, <laughs> you know, so maybe it's something that we will do in the future. But I would definitely suggest a system with one of our sumps. Cool. Next question is from uh, George. He says, "Okay, so he has three questions." Um, I have a 40 gallon breeder that I want to turn into a frag tank. I was going to have sand and the other half bare bottom. What are your thoughts? The egg crates will of course be on the bare bottom side. Um, I've did this one because it was kind of an interesting question that he proposed yeah, is yeah. that I don't think you can just split an open tank to be half sand and half not. The sand's yeah. going to move. It's going to go over either by fish, by flow, amount, yeah. Um, yeah. for anything. So there's really no way you're going to divide it half and half. Um, so I don't think that that's worth your efforts. Let's well, put like a glass divider, but even then it's still... And it doesn't provide any benefit if yeah. you're doing like you want sand because you have a fish that loves sand or something like that. I mean, you can, and I've done it before, is where you like put a Tupperware container full of sand in a part mm -hmm. of the tank so your fish that like to sleep in it, like would go in it. Yeah. Um, but even then your sand's going to get kicked everywhere by the fish. It's yeah. not going to work in theory to divide the two. Yeah, I say just pick one or the other. That would yeah. be my vote. Yeah, that's why I saw that. I was like, ah, this is, you know, an interesting concept. The other side will have live rock, aquascape for larger colonies, eventually going to grow to frag. So it's not really a question. That's just more in relation to why he's doing it. In the start of this build, I didn't go with any automated docent. Will two-part work in the beginning? Um, oh, for sure. Because I mean, not everyone uses a doser, and honestly, before the frag build that we just did, we don't use dosers on most of our systems. Um, so hand dosing works. It just depends on how much you want to deal with it and how much yeah. uptake you're having in your aquarium. If you're doing yeah. a lot of soft stuff. You're not going to need to dose that much. If it's all SBS, it might be kind of a hassle to dose as everything grows. But pick one or the other sand or bare bottom, and yeah. then hand dosing is perfectly fine. And he says, thank you, Jess, for your time and knowledge. You forgot the S. Knowledge is. <laughs> <laughs> we need to make a jingle for knowledge is. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and we need a shirt, too. I love it. Yes. Oh, we were, okay, we were talking about this the other day. If we did a shirt about uh -huh. something with about the knowledge is in water box, uh -huh. would you guys wear it? Yeah. Would you want to have a shirt like that? Something to do with the knowledge is yeah. we need to know if there's demand. Um, yeah. We think it'd be really fun. And also, you guys, if you don't know, you can pick up swag if you're on YouTube. And if you want to pick up Waterbox swag, you can go to waterboxaquariums.com forward slash swag. We got t-shirts, hats, coffee mugs. Uh, um. Oh. <laughs> Microfiber towels. You guys have been asking for these for a while. They have. And this is the first time anyone has been shown yeah. this. Yeah, so Keenan, should we give a couple of these away? Sure. Those of you that have aquariums or not, future aquarium owners, we're going to give away two of these microfiber towels today. They're really nice. They're great for, you know, cleaning off the outside of your aquarium because they're really soft. They're not coarse and going to scratch anything. So we're going to give away one on YouTube and Facebook. Yeah, microfiber is uh, really good for that final cleaning once you get like all big yeah. and all you do have like those fine streaks and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Like the microfiber really cleans them up nicely. We um, want to do this for so long. We have. And we finally yeah. did it. Look did it. Nice towel. So now's your chance to win some. Um, I don't think are they gonna be up on the site. Do you want? Would you want them on the site? Like yeah. If you guys want these to be available to purchase, they wouldn't. You know, do you want them on the site? Tell us. Uh, right now they're not. We kind of just send them out to customers, dealers here and there. Um, but well, we just got them in very recently, so we're not sure, like you know, if we should put them up, um, whatever. But we'll do a couple of giveaways. And uh, yeah, we got are you some questions if you want more questions. Oh, I thought you were picking. I don't know what I we're doing. Questions? I can pick whatever you guys want. Yeah, Keenan's got questions. <laughs> we're also going to pick two winners here uh, towards the end of the show on Facebook and YouTube for the towel. Okay, first question comes from Temba. He says, hey Jess, I had a clown that tried to be hosted by a frog spawn and yeah. damaged it. 
How can I stop brown jelly? Okay, is it, that's a twofold question because they're not technically related. Okay. Um, so, okay, clownfish hosting a frog spawn, ain't nothing you can do about it. That's what they want. Um, I've had clownfish <laughs> that have hosted a magnet versus an anemone. Um, I've had a clownfish that oh likes our hammers, like in the um, yeah. big uh, dream tank, the 220 up front. The clownfish are hosting the elegance. Most they do what of the they time. want. They do what they want. Um, now, does this mean that they can kill your coral? Absolutely. If you yeah. get a tiny little frog spawn and you have a bigger clown and he's like, I want in this, he's going to probably stress it out and kill it. Yeah. Um, brown jelly is like usually a separate disease that kind of transfers between different euphelia families mm -hmm. and is a little bit hard to contain, but do dipping on that one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I got a question from Beverly. I'm not sure if a sump or an all in one would be best for wild betas. Um, probably an all-in-one. Um, I don't feel like you have to probably have as much flow with the wild betas. So I think all in one's going to be a little bit more easy and contained for mm. that type of fish. Because they don't need a ton of swimming space. Um, and I don't believe with wild betas you keep a ton of them together. So um, probably all-in-one or the cubes or yeah. something like that would be a good choice. i got to touch on this one because I've seen it about a couple times at least, two or three times. Is there a lid for the Marine X? They're not on the site just yet, but yes, we do have a jump guard that we, we sell for all of our models. So mm -hmm. those will be up here within the next day or two. So yes, there are lids for them. Yes, so we use a jump guard on the models and the tanks around here. Um, they're kind of do-it-yourself kit, and it has all the pieces and stuff to fit different lights and all. Um, you know, pretty easy, take a little bit of time, but they're yeah. very nice looking when they're on there. Um, and they don't take away from that really clean, rimless look, which is really important when you have a yeah. water box. So um, check those out. Yep. Questions from Al. Um, he has a four foot tank that's about 80 gallons. Um, he's asking if I wanted to keep a tank, which tanks would be able to be happy in that situation? Um, you want to stick with the smaller ones like yellow eye coal tanks, Tamini's, um, maybe a yellow. Um, the more docile ones, you don't want them to be the ones that get really big like blue tanks or nasos yeah. or any of those. Um, I gotta say real quick. Anthony Amato on YouTube says, I'll buy a 220.6 if you give me a towel. So I just have to put that out there. <laughs> Anthony, you are now held to it. <laughs> yeah. um, I'll look for your order and we'll send you a towel along with it. I'll send you two towels. I'll send you two. That would yeah, be really nice towels. of us. Um, yeah. So I just had to say that. That's a pretty good selling point. Um, That's one of our <laughs> most popular models, the 220. Yeah, so you'll be happy with it and you'll get a towel to clean the glass. So winning all around. Okay, here's another question. This one's from Hate Mondays, which I believe is the person who won the frag tank. Who? Hate, Hate Mondays? Mondays is his screen name. Yes, so yes, it is. <laughs> uh, what's your go-to test kit? Uh, depends on what we're testing. So if it's for the beginning of cycle, ammonia, nitrite, nitrate, the basic stuff, we use just API. Yeah. It's super easy. It's cost effective. You don't need it much after the cycle. Um, when we do calcium acclimate testing, I mean, there's... We actually have like three or four different brands here that we use. Like, yeah. we're kind of, um, you know, there's Salifert, there's Nios. There's, yeah, there's a ton of different. Um, Personally, like, if you were to ask me, I've always used for calcium alpha mag. I use Salifert for all like the basic, more basic startup tests, like ammonia, nitrite, nitrate. I use uh, the API just because they're inexpensive and I don't use them very often. Right. Yeah. You know? So it's like you don't need super fancy ones usually for the ammonia and the nitrite and stuff because once yeah. you cycle. That's usually not something, it's just a quick test to have here and there if you need to yeah. notice a problem. Um, you know, Phosphate, definitely, I would say salifert. Yeah, you need a like a reagent type yeah. um, one when you're dealing with the phosphate, alkaline, calcium, magnesium, I would say. Yeah. And if you're dealing with like a full SBS tank, yeah, your nitrate's got to be one of those super low nutrient yeah. ones as well. But We don't, you know, we obviously don't sell any test kits here at Waterbox, but there's, there's a ton of different test kits. I say just check it out wherever you're, head over to your local retailer. Yeah. yeah, and the good thing with them is like kind of pick with the one they use because they're going to be able to even help you with questions as you do mm -hmm. it. Because honestly, some of these test kits, when you're testing for like calcium alkalinity, there's like six steps and you strain things and you wait five minutes and then you add three drops and 0.7 <laughs> of this. And it's like, and you some do a handstand them, and some a back of them foot. get absolutely crazy. So use <laughs> what you can get advice on because sometimes it's very confusing. Yeah, and, and that's where the biggest uh, misreadings come from when you're testing an aquarium is not doing the test properly. And there can be a lot of steps. Yeah. I like Salifer because it's pretty straightforward. Yeah. This question comes from SD, and he's asking, he or she, I'm not sure, 
Uh, what <laughs> water box aquariums would you suggest for someone starting out in the saltwater hobby? I would, I mean, oh God, that's such an open question though. It's like, what do you want to do with your saltwater? Yeah, so this is this would be my opinion, if you don't mind me interjecting a little Go bit. Go for it. Um, I would say, how, where are you putting it in your house? Let's start there. How much space do you have? Right. And as a beginner, I wouldn't probably go much larger than like four feet. So like mm -hmm. the Marine X line, that's what it's designed for. Start there. If you don't want to sump, go with all in one. Yeah. And it's also like I find a lot of times people get into this and they have that dr that like fish that mm -hmm. just completely stole their eye. This is the reason they want to start salt water. You know, I saw a flame angel or I saw this kind of goby or this tang. Now, if you think you are definitely going to buy that fish and that's your reason for doing salt water, make sure you know what that fish needs. Yeah. And buy the tank around that because you're like, oh, I love this flame angel. You can't go and get a 10 cube. You need yeah. something a little bit bigger. If you're like, I love Dory, you need something really big. So, you know, you really have to kind of base yeah. it upon what you want to do with that tank and what you want to house in it as well. True. Budget, size, I mean, all the, there's so many considerations. Yep. But we make a size for everybody. We do. So. We do six, specifically, six gallons all the way up to 220. Can't go wrong. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to give away four okay. towels today because Keena gave me four names. I'm giving away four towels. On uh, YouTube, we got shot. It's, oh, it's hold you. on. Yeah, first is YouTube. Okay. Right. Uh, YouTube. Uh, you got your drum roll. Free towels, microfiber towels. Woo -woo. Sean McKenzie and Anthony... A meto? Yeah, who's buying the 220. Oh, there you ah, go. Anthony, you, you go. got a free towel, man. You Come already on. won your towel. You're getting a preemptive it, towel, even though we don't have that receipt yet. Um, <laughs> <laughs> thank you, guys. So, again, we don't have any way to contact you on here. So, you got to reach out to customer service, 800-674-2608 uh, or support at waterboxaquarium.com. Facebook, we got Sean Patterson and Megan Perone. Congratulations, e, maybe. guys. So thank you guys again. YouTube, that was Sean McKenzie, Anthony Ametto. Forgive me if that's not right. Facebook, Sean Patterson and Megan Peroni. All right, so contact support at waterboxaquariums.com. Get information, we'll get a towel sent out to you. Um, really hope everyone loves the Marine X and is yeah. excited as excited about it as we are. Um, from the comments, it definitely seems like they are. Yeah. And you know, we're looking forward to seeing these out there in the wild. We and are. getting set up and you know coming into life and stuff and that's my favorite part about new series is like seeing them out there and starting to get set up by everyone yeah. and see what they do with them because there's so many options there is again you guys this is we love seeing the water box family get their new tanks that's what we always say everyone everyone's the family you guys here on the channel um and those of you that own our tanks so again thank you so much um we're back well, for next wednesday i don't know yeah. what we're doing yeah, yeah. Well, next week is up in the air. Yeah. Tell <laughs> we don't know. I physi we Tell physically don't what know what you want to see next week. What we're doing week. next week. We Post have seven days to figure it out. So do let us know what you want. I'll be, we'll figure it out. Our eyes have been on the Marine X for a long time now, and it's awesome to have it out there. But we will be here next Wednesday with something. Yeah. Until then. And <laughs> we want to see you all here because, again, we're here every week, 6 p.m. Eastern. So thank you, guys. See you.